What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be analysing this man Zayn Freestyle up at the Olympic, Olympic Champs. Champ. Yeah, where I became Olympic Champion uh, from lane 4 and I think we just get straight into this. So we are on the blocks and uh, I'm in the white suit with a black cap in lane 4. So Greg Pouch just got on the blocks early. I did notice that while I was on the blocks but didn't phase me or anything. A lot didn't of people face the champ. <laughs> no, me and Greg and White, and White Trunks as well, pretty cool. I mean, you can guess who's who with who's got the tan, but um, we're about to dive in now, so. And we're in. We're in. So, the dive is not ho horrible, actually. Very yeah. high rate at the start, isn't it? Always start high and then get into your rate. Bit of a leg kick, I can see, actually. Actually, looks kind of nice, I'm sure. But yeah, so anyway, as we go into this race, coming down the first 50. He's out decently fast. I PB'd in this race by second, so I'm um, and spoiler, obviously, I won. So we're out in, what are we out in? 26, 3, 4. Uh, not too, too. That was pretty fast, actually, I would say. And we're in like, about fourth position right now, I think. Elijah's just gunning it out. Yeah. Like, why, I wonder why the Olympics actually is white lanes and not golden lanes. It's in World Champs 2, it's white lanes. Okay. I don't know. We're coming to the first time, still looking relaxed, still in fourth position, I think. And uh, we turned in a 54, 7, 6, 28, 4. So pretty good first split, I think, myself. I think I was out faster in the heat uh, for the first 400 meters, but obviously yeah, you take it easier in the heat in the second half. But we're in a good race position, we're starting to move through the field a bit. Um, I'm sure it looks nice. I was saying that I'm breathing just in the left direction because um, that's where the race I thought was going to be, where Bobby Fink and Greg were going to be, so racing until the end. But uh, right now in my head, I'm thinking we stay calm, stay relaxed. If you dive in, I kind of felt a bit dead, which is kind of a bit of a weird experience for me because of the, the nerves and the pressure. But um, I'm starting to like get some feel for the water now, and um, I think in the heat it's got me 300 meters, it's got me about 115 final so we're still in a maybe fourth position maybe moving up third -ish. now it's elijah's got about a body line for us but we're turning the wide and turn. i never saw a double breath no no i never double breath you didn't no, no, i didn't double you just swapped side yeah i know yeah i swapped into the turn but i didn't double breath 152 what was i there that was a 152 60. 29-0, so you've actually started to left off the pace for some reason. Yeah, I, to be honest, I don't know what I was doing earlier. Honestly, I was just trying to race the race. I think Olympics is mainly about racing, and the time does not really matter too much. But you came with the PBM, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. big. But uh, yeah, so still looking pretty relaxed. My goal in this race, I think, was to like stay in amongst the pack, catch Elijah by about 300, 400. And then as soon as we hit four and did really like start gassing it. But I knew a lot of people didn't really get to watch this race because of the inside front and break on in the middle of it. Uh, so uh, it wasn't quite a show on RG live and really good, we're watching it now. So three into the end, Nathan, what we at? Uh, we are at 250.56. So pretty rapid there. So and we're in second position right now. So we've caught Elijah up right now. Did all we hold this high of a screw press? Yeah, that's my normal rate. Yeah. Yeah. So I look like I'm not catching on it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Maybe it's the nerves, but no. I felt very comfortable here, honestly. Especially in the second four inches, it's kind of felt really good. Yeah, we were ahead there. Yeah, I think I'm leading now, so. Do your break out. Yeah. I think uh, the head's coming out. Yeah. As soon as you yeah. hold it. I think this race was changing all the time with who was leading. It's yeah. really cool. Like you see the changing guy in the middle was coming up uh, on me as well. Then and Greg he's, he's on everybody's hip, isn't he? Yeah. He's where do I go? Huh? <laughs> but uh, no, and then Greg's just sitting back, and then you'll see in a second here. But Greg's probably going to start to make a push. I think on this lap or the next hundred. Uh, but. Yeah, right now I'm just thinking stay calm and if we stay where we are, we've won the race. So. See, do you think that's actually a good tactic to sit on some of these pits, like you swap from both sides? I feel like you can just swim in the Yeah, I mean, Greg has constantly been on my lane route the whole way. Uh, maybe he gave me some respect that he thought I was going to win, so he thought I was the best lane to be on, which 
I agree. I just don't think it's a good idea to swap though. No, well, I mean, great. I wonder if there. someone in the comments put in the sign to find actually what, how uh, much quicker it is to sit on a lane than to use lane hook, or is it not at all? Mm -hmm. So we got about half a body lane lead here. I mean, my stroke has really slowed down the rate, to be honest. I think you're holding quicker actually. Yeah. Yeah, you, you're mm -hmm. holding more water. Yeah, so I'm more relaxed here. Yeah, I think this is kind of starting to feel an element. And then obviously, this is, um, we're coming up here to like the 500. So this is now with 200 to go, I think, or 300 to go. I've lost count. Yeah, I've lost count too. You, know, you can see how hard 800 is when you lose count. I think it's where this is uh, all coming into the 600. And then uh, you can see Greg is coming up here, and um, we're about to turn up high 60. And um, you'll see he's going to overtake me on this lap. And then this is where I used him to uh, block. Uh, so Bobby couldn't see where I was, so I knew that if I kept Bobby uh, well, just behind Greg, that he wouldn't be able to see me when I make a move. So I'm just staying here, I was like, let's just stay with Greg, that's all I can do. And I was in quite a lot of pain here, I think this is the most painful 800 I've ever done, so um, yeah, we are. What, what's, what was your opinion on the full floor being 2.2? Two, two two? I think it's easier for me, because I can judge my turn better, I thought, I thought, I thought my turns in this race were really good. Um, like a six, yeah. So, um, really good, I think, and um, we're just gonna, we're just, here, this is where like Greg starts to really push it, and like, I really had to dig deep to find a new gear to really go with him here. He really pushed it well. Yeah, he did, he really pushed the pace on, honestly. Surely um, if we would have held that, like, scenario, he just sits in your hip all the time and then back ends it. But he put a massive split in there, John, he's a back end last. Uh, I, really, I think he said that he, couldn't, he doesn't think he has that speed that we have in the last 50. Mm -hmm. So I think he'd have to get himself over a body lamp if he wanted to beat us. But I mean, that was never going to happen in Olympic final. It is a, yeah, it is a three-man race right now. We uh, we have dropped the rest of the field. So we good though, secured the medal. Yeah, yeah, definitely felt good securing the medal. I've been on the other hand where he's coming fourth and it's not fun. But uh, we are coming now into the last turn, uh, so the last hundred. And um, yeah, we got the, uh, the Everybody bell. at home were thinking, he's lost, yeah. he's lost. Yeah, but all they don't know. The, it, here it comes. The yeah. rate is coming up. Jesus. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Your head's got, you got your bobbing a lot. Of them, yeah, and I moved over to the lame rope as well. But I was a bit worried. It's a very when, scrappy when, race. When I moved it's just over for the win. It's just for the racing. That's all, that's all the Olympics is about, racing. And I did notice, uh, I knew that I had a good thing on Bobby. I took a little look on me and walk on the turf. Uh, I don't know, Ryan Locks. I mean, I don't go that far in the water. I go like five <laughs> metres. So. I mean, here, yeah, and then this is where I really went for it. I brought in the legs. I can see Bobby was As the uh, guy on Eurosport, the American, the Americans coming back. He wasn't there, was he? On the 25. You were pulling away, I think. Yeah, this is where, and then I started a rapid 55 The age right? group are coming out. Yeah, so yeah, we made sure we get our head down as well, and we really go into the wall. And then we got our hand on the wall, and then we went, you can, oh, the camera is going crazy. Obviously, our Irish videographer is going a bit crazy there, oh. but, oh, oh <laughs> we lost the camera there, but yeah, that's my, that was it. We'll put some photos up as well of um, my reaction to winning the race. So how are we getting some questions? So what was the race strategy for that race? Well, to be fair, I don't really have, I don't have race strategies. Uh, I think uh, I've stopped doing them because <laughs> when I dive in, I just feel like, and then I race the race now. Uh, it depends if I'm going for a time or something like that. I did want to go a certain time, but at the end of the day, my goal was to win the Olympic Games. It wasn't to go my goal time. I feel like the medal was more important at this stage than the time. So then when I, when I, when I said to uh, my search, myself and my coach Andy, just before the race, we're like, no, no race plan, we just race the race and we get our hand on the wall first. And that's what we did. And uh, Nathan's going to say something there that I told him something different that was going to happen in the race. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I, I told everybody different. You just said you didn't have a race plan. And, and, and I told, I told people kept asking me, was I going to win or was I... Uh, what, was, um, what am I going to do in the race? And I told every single person something different. Uh, just so they would uh, just leave me alone. He never or, normally lies to me. Yeah, but honestly, it's like because I don't want to. You want to keep the pressure off yourself, and I was just, I just do what happens in the race, and I just want to win, and that's exactly what we did. Well, to be honest, I wanted you to just blow them out from the start. I thought you were capable of doing that. Yeah. We made it a hard. It's, well, I don't. Nathan, you'll understand in LA when you're winning the medals, and um, you'll see <laughs> that when you dive into the pit final, you honestly do not feel great at all. 
and it's really just adrenaline that you're trying to run off. Mm. But uh, no, it was a good race, good PB. How about we talk about Olympic that? record? 26.94 last uh, uh, 50. Yeah. Well, I honestly have been training the whole year, and I reckon I can go 25 points at the end. So uh, it's pretty slow, but I'm not really surprised because the, the way I felt at the end of this race, I felt like I've been hit by a car. Just blame it on the food, huh? Yeah, blame it on the <laughs> village or the buses or something like that. But all this, all the, the, what they say, the slow pull. But yeah, I mean, we got the Olymp- Olympic record. Olympic record. Can't wait for that certificate to come in. I actually just got my world record certificate from the 800 short course. I would like to It'll say... be in the next. I yeah. personally like to say I'm one of the best 800 swimmers ever. I'm definitely the fastest. All right, I? take your own hole. <laughs> I'm definitely the fastest. Got, I'm the only one to go 720 in 800 meters. Take your own hole, blow your own trumpet. Open blow, it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I mean, that's happy. Um, you got any more questions about the race? Uh, we did the walkout. We did the writing your name in the history books. They'll put you on screen. Uh, but yeah, that was um, that was pretty cool. Thought of by myself, not Nathan this time, because Nathan didn't want to contribute to any walkouts. Yeah. But uh, any more questions? No, that was really it. That's it. Well, next uh, next week you'll see the 1500 analysis where we got the bronze medal. But I am Daniel Whiffen, the Olympic champion, and we'll see you next week. Please like and subscribe.